These mysterious wish-granting orbs are known as the Dragon Balls. And it's around these Dragon Balls that this extraordinary story unfolds, with new challenges and adventures awaiting Goku and his friends at every turn. Not much longer before this planet's ours. It would have been ours much sooner if you'd actually done your job, Raditz. Uh, sorry. And that's why everyone calls you Raditz the Runt. Things will be different on the next planet. Huh. Mark my words, if you screw up again, I will kill you. Wait, I, I just remembered something. I think my little brother Kakarot was sent to a different planet. I'll bet he's still there. You have a brother? I didn't think there were any Saiyans left besides us. If he joins us, the rest of the universe will be ours in no time. The fact that he's your brother doesn't exactly fill me with confidence. What planet was he sent to? Uh, I think it's called Earth. But now that I think about it, I haven't heard anything about him taking control of it. Damn that Kakarot, what the hell is he doing? Attack of the Saiyans. Hey, Dad? What was that? Hmm, not sure. Just as I thought, the creatures on this planet are still alive. Kakarot's failed us. Uh, who or what are you? A power level of only five? What trash. Uh, stay back! Blah! the best this planet can muster? Well, now, here's a large power reading. Distance 4880. Kakarot? <gasps> what in the world could that have been? I've never felt a power like this. Yeah, so it wasn't Kakarot after all. Who the hell are you? I don't have time to waste with you. Wait a minute. This is a Namekian, isn't it? What the hell is a Namekian doing on this planet? If that's true, then what are you even doing here? You got a death wish? <laughs> You've got spunk. I like that. Hmm. A power level of 322, huh? You're definitely stronger than the others. But you wouldn't even be a warm-up for me. You're making a mistake in underestimating me. Let's see if you 
to show you what real power looks like. <clears throat> I'm getting another large power reading. That's got to be Kakarot. <clears throat> Impossible. Who the hell is this guy? And where is he going? supposed to exterminate all life on this planet. What have you been doing all this time? Huh? Who are you? And who's Kakarot? Should I know who that is? You've got to be kidding me. You don't remember. Fine then. Allow me to refresh your memory. You're not from this filthy planet. You were born on planet Vegeta. You're a member of the proud and mighty warrior race, the Saiyans. And that's not all. I'm your older brother, Raditz. You're lying! That can't be true! Long ago, you were sent to this pathetic planet to rid it of all life! We Saiyans search the universe for habitable planets and wipe out all who live there, so that we can sell those planets to the highest bidder. We snot-nosed brats like you are sent to low-level planets, like this. And fortunately, it looks like this one's got a moon. <laughs> if this guy's telling the truth, then these Saiyans are some real bad dudes. Wait, what about the moon? What does that have to do with anything? Don't play dumb with me. We Saiyans release our true power whenever there's a full moon. Even chumps like you should know that. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I think Krillin's right. You guys are the worst. My name's Son Goku and I'm from Earth. Take your lies and get out of here. <laughs> Well, I couldn't even if I wanted to. Because Planet Vegeta was blown to smithereens by a meteor. Almost all of our brethren have been turned to space dust now. Uh. Including me and you, there are only four Saiyans left. Just the other day, we found a planet that should fetch us a high price. The three of us were going to have a hell of a time trying to overtake it. And that's when I remembered you. Kakarot. The planet is as good as ours if you join us. 
Come on, Kakarot! Think of the fun we'll have! Isn't your Saiyan blood boiling with excitement? Just shut up! If you think I'm joining you, then you're dumber than you look! Huh. Fine. Be that way. That little runt with the tail behind you is your kid, right? I guess I'll just take him instead. Huh? Come any closer and I'll knock you sky high! Back off! <laughs> oh yeah? Well, go ahead if you think you can. Gohan's not going anywhere with you! Uh, what the hell is this guy? You're not my brother! You're nothing to me! Casual, don't turn your back on your family! Oh, your people! takes to face him head on, at least if we tried on our own. But together, if we were to team up, we just might be able to take him down. Yeah, you're probably right. But can I really trust you? What's your angle in all this? Don't get the wrong idea. It isn't that I care in the slightest about your little kid or the Earth. That fool is the only thing standing between me and world domination. The moment he and his cronies are out of the picture. I finally rid myself of you. Then the world will be mine for the taking. You're crazy if you think I'm about to let that happen. But for now, I guess we gotta join forces. Guess there's really no getting around that. Precisely. Huh? What's this? A power level of 710. Where the hell? Kakarot's kid? No way! Damn, this thing must be busted! What? Another reading? And it's heading straight for me! There's one? No, there's two. With power levels 322 and 334. They've come. So, what brings you chumps here? Isn't it obvious? I'm here to get my son back! Where is he? You're hiding him somewhere, aren't you? His screaming was giving me a headache, so I locked him up in there. But forget about the rot. Don't tell me you actually think you stand a chance against me. You 
fool! You're not even fit to call yourself a Saiyan! Prepare to die! You know, believe it or not, battles aren't just about strength! Oh, that is the idea! Man, he's fast! earlier? They're even more powerful than me. If you've got a new attack hidden up your sleeve, now's the time to use it, Goku! <laughs> Sorry. I'm fresh out. <laughs> Lucky for you, I actually came up with a new technique while I was training. Really? A plan? Ha! It'd be easier just to lie down and wait for the sweet release of death! I'm just gonna need enough time to charge up the proper energy for it. <clears throat> gonna need you to keep him busy while I deal with this. Got it. I'll do what I can. Hope you're ready for this. Special Beam Cannon! Huh. You just don't know when to quit. My power! The playtime's over! You alone? Why were you so right to decide who gets to die first?
game ends now. Yeah. <laughs> 
Special Beam Cannon! Possible. I I can't be beaten by scum like this. I can't. <sighs> well, you just were. <laughs> I, I I can't believe that Kakarot would just throw away. His own life. You idiot. Trust me, Goku won't be dead for very long. Wh what? Didn't you know? This planet is home to the Dragon Balls. They grant wishes. Absolutely any wish imaginable. Even bringing someone back from the dead. <laughs> uh, damn it. Well, my... Comrades will be happy to hear that. <laughs> Everything you just said was transmitted to them on the other side of the universe. Once they've learned that I've died, they will come here. How long until then? When? When will they... When do you think they'll get here? A year. Just one year from now. <laughs> Damn it. One year before even stronger warriors arrive. You two... have no hope of beating them. Enjoy what little... Time you have left. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Come on, Goku! Hang in there! It's not like you to give up so easily! Krillin, you know, dying is a lot worse than I thought it would be. Uh, yeah, but... Don't you worry. We're gonna bring you back really soon! <laughs> Thank you. Goku! What the? He's gone! Interesting. I bet Kami has something to do with this. Eh? Huh? Well, I guess we can put our minds at ease if Kami's involved. You guys need to get the Dragon Balls. Kami doesn't possess the power needed to bring someone back to life. Also, Goku's kid will be coming with me for the time being. What? Uh, you, you're kidding, right? What are you gonna do with him? With a little training and the right teacher, that kid could be capable of serious power. We're going to need all the power we can get before those two Saiyans show up in a year's time. Me training this little runt is our best shot to stand a chance. Once Goku's revived, tell him he'll get his son back and in better shape than he left him. Meanwhile, on a planet far, far from Earth. Raditz, the bastard went and got himself killed. He always was an embarrassment. Still, I must admit, I'm very interested in these Dragon Balls. 
so they're capable of granting any wish? All right, let's go. We're gonna bring rats back from the dead? Don't make me laugh. We have no more use for that dead weight. We can wish for eternal youth, for immortality. Can you imagine it? Nothing could possibly stand in our way. Sounds good to me. Count me in! Invigorated by the prospect of attaining immortality with the Dragon Balls, the two Saiyans made their way to Earth.